Here he is, down the man. And Harry Tapp on target two. So uh, Dan was seeded fifth in qualification and Harry seventh. So Dan has international experience where I don't... Harry didn't go to France, did he? No. So Harry does not, so a bit more experience on Dan's side. So Dan has opted for Harry to shoot first instead of him shooting first. It's a very interesting decision there. We've had uh, two people do that so far, haven't yeah, we? Both so. Alicia and Dan have done that. You know him best. Why do you think he did it? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, he likes the pressure. Maybe. So Harry opening up the first arrow of this match. Strong nine there to start off the match. Let's see how Dan the man responds. Seven. Drifting out to the left there. That could maybe be the different conditions from the practice field. Yeah, nine. just out the ten there, another nine. Both slightly left there for Harry. See if Dan has corrected his sight. Bit of steering. Eight. Still going to the right this time. Maybe a bit of a over adjustment. Eight. An eight there will win Harry this this first set. Practice Aaron now for Dan, see if you can find the center. Going back over to the left. It's looking a bit confused right there. He didn't look very happy with that one. That could just just be getting his sights set in after the first end. Yeah. So that will give uh, Harry those two set points there. So just confirming the scores now. So yeah, both archers are talking to their coach there, getting some uh, some tips. Alberto just keeping Dan calm, getting him centered. So Dan will be shooting first now. Jenny's jealous of Harry's hat. Oh, rocking the uh, bucket hat. Bucket, look. bucket hat. I couldn't get on with the bucket hats. So Dan going to shoot first in this second set. Let's see if he can uh, find the gold in this this next set. Looking strong. Ten. And that's a 10 there. He's found it now. That was in a lot quicker shot as well, I think. Yeah. So. Maybe just a slight bit of nerves on the first set, but he's definitely calmed down now. Bit of a longer, shakier shot for Harry, ten. but still, still a 10. Still gets a 10 for it. Both archers looking really strong. Another very strong shot now for Dan. He's really found found the centre now. Looking a bit shaky there. Nine. Gets away with a nine. But Dan can shoot a thirty right now. Can can he get that thirty? First one of the day it will be. And that's, and that's a thirty. A 30. First 30 of the day. Dan the man with a plan to get a 30. Dan the man with a plan. Great shooting. Seven. Seven there. That arrow didn't matter anyway. So now 2-2. Two, two. Dan's really found the centre now. 
bit of a wobble on his first set, but then moved to sight, and he's straight back in there. That's that's the mark of a youth Olympian, isn't it? <laughs> Being able to get right back into the 10. Definitely, after a bit of a wobble on the first end, to be able to come back with a 30 is great shooting. Are you proud of him? Very, yeah. <laughs> Really dropped me in it, aren't you, Jacob? Yes, I am. I'm going to make this as awkward as I can. I had a fear the new word. So uh, Dan will take those two set points there, so that'll um, tie it on 2-2. Two -two. So Harry will be shooting first. Yep. Going back to the original shooting order. Bit of a breeze picking up now. See whether the athletes adjust for this. Nine. Just out the 10 there for Harry. Let's see whether Dan can keep up his 10 streak here. An eight there for Dan, drifting a bit low. Nine. So two nines just high there for Harry. Might see an adjustment. Some good grouping there. Ten. Yeah, he's back in the middle now. Oh, that's a flinch there. Harry looking a little bit shaky, could be the nerves. And that's a seven. That will open the door for Dan. An eight right here will get him the third set. Eight. He got the eight, so that's a 26 for Dan to take this third set and take it to 4 2. Yeah, so that should be a 4 2 lead now. So uh, Dan should take those two set points now and give him a 4-2 advantage. So the score's been confirmed, and we're going to go into the fourth <laughs> set. Down on match point here. Let's see if would he be able to close out the match. <coughs> Harry shooting first. Bit of a wobble on his last set. That's a much quicker nine. shot there from Harry. It's a solid nine. That's a solid 10 there from Dan. That's a really good response. Eight. Dropping out into the 8 there. Giving Dan the opportunity to get ahead in this match and possibly take it. Another Eight. 10 there. Could we see another 30? Maybe. It's looking very good. Harry really needs a 10 right now. And yeah. there's a 10. That's some good shooting there. 27. But Dan only needs an 8 to win. But can we see the 30? Dan the man. But has he got the plan to shoot that 30? Bit of steering. Ooh. We will be waiting on a judge call to see the winner of this match. 
What do you think? Do you think it's in? Um, I'm not sure. I can't quite make the call from here. I think it might be in. Fingers crossed. We'll see what the uh, judges' confirmation will be. And we have confirmation that Dan has won the match. That seven star was called in as an eight. So, yeah, so that was 28 points for Dan there. 28 to 27 to win this match 6-2. That's some great shooting there. So I believe now we'll be going into the medal ceremonies and then in a bit going into the compound matches. Yeah, so that was the last of the recurve cadet finals. Yeah, so confirmation there, Daniel has won the gold medal and Harry will take away silver. Men medalists are coming onto the field for their medal ceremony. Now, do we think that Tom will be as tall as Dan? even on the lower podium? Um, I don't think he'll be too far off. And Dan ain't exactly a short guy. No, he's not. Siska's just very tall. Proud, Hannah. I am, I am very proud. <laughs> so, congratulations to all the recurve cadet men finalists. That will be the end of this recurve session, and then we'll be going into the compound matches starting at 12 o'clock. We won't be here for that. Uh, you should have some different commentators for that. And then we will be back at 3 o'clock with the Recurve Junior Women Final. So thank you for watching. Uh, please tune in later for the Compound Finals.